Bazart is much more than a photo editor. So in this session, we're gonna have a play around and we're gonna create a little piece of artwork Let's just have a play and see where we go. So I've imported this picture. Please ignore the fact that my phone battery is dying. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, get rid of all the stuff behind the object. So I've just clicked the magic button and that's gonna get rid of everything. This, if anybody's interested, is a projection mapping project that I've been working on for an art installation. More about that in another session. Okay, so I'm just gonna scale me up and then I'm just gonna play with me because I'm incredibly purple, so obviously, that's come from the light from that uh, background stuff. So I'm just gonna play with my exposure a little bit. So this is the photo editor part of Bazaar. So you can absolutely use it as a photo editor. I generally use other apps, which we're going to go into anyway during this course. So I'm just playing with the warmth. I'm just looking at the highlights, playing with the sharpness, going through it all, just to try and normalize that image a bit so I'm less purple and I'm less pink. Now I've done a really quick job on this so it isn't perfect and in a minute you'll notice that um, if I wanted to do this better I should have refined my edges a little bit more but you know all about refining edges because you've done a previous tutorial with this. Okay so we're just looking at my background and I'm just going to bring another image in here. Let's have a look. Um, what images can I bring in? Okay let's bring this giant head in. So already this is starting to look really interesting. So I have myself that's been cut out of my background and I have this giant head. Let me have a look what else there is. Actually, let me change the background. Here, you can see if you look at my head, part of it's cut out because that's in black. So when it removed the background, it didn't notice that. So if I wanted this perfect, I would go back and refine that. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I think it's fine the way it is. Let's just keep looking at some of the different options. Oh, there we go, a little cat. That's quite funny. I'm um, not sure what that is on the sand. So I'll just go through, have a look. Here we go, a little coffee cup. Perfect. So what would be funny is you've put me in this coffee cup. So I scale me down. There you go. I'm now in a lovely cappuccino. Let's be honest, guys. If you saw this in your cappuccino, you would be well within your rights to send it back. Okay, so let's have a look what else we can do with this image. Again, I'm doing this super quick for the purposes of this tutorial. When you guys start working in this app and start creating some really amazing content, you absolutely will do something better this, I'm certain. So I've got the shadow on here, so I'm just playing with that shadow a little bit as if the light is coming from the top left side. There we go, a oh, little bit less maybe. Just playing with that there. And a lot of this is about you finding something that you like. So I'm just playing with the angle, just playing with the size of that, playing with the blur, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, so I'm down in my settings at the bottom. I'm just scrolling across. Let's have a look at our overlays. Now let's see what we have down here. Rainbow, pedal, festive lights. That looks interesting. Let's have a look. I know it's not festive. Well, it might be festive depending on when you're watching this tutorial. But as I'm recording it, it's not that festive. So let's just have a look. What I love about this app is the possibilities are endless. So you're only limited by your own creativity. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that there because the purpose of this tutorial was to show you some of the things that's possible. Please do have a go. Please do make something much more interesting than what I've made. And I'd love to see it. So please do share it with myself and share it with the class. Okay, everybody, have a great day. And I will see you all in the next session.